Bitcoin and Ethereum emergency update. Bitcoin's gone from around $16,200 to almost $17,000 overnight. But what is this surge to the upside? Is it looking like a continuation to a new bull trend? Or is it just the initial part of a correction where we're likely to see a new low? Well, that's what we're going to dive into today in detail. So if you like today's video, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Let's dive into Bitcoin and then Ethereum. We're on a Bitcoin one hour chart and clearly we can see we've had this big move to the downside. We can see that the weekly momentum is actually now bullish, is actually flipped around. The daily momentum is bullish and we should consider buying opportunities. But now let's just break this down to a bit of detail because what this looks like to me is we had the initial move down, some type of correction, another move down, a longer correction, typical of a wave four, and then another move down. So it looks like a five wave move to the market on the downside. And remember, markets tend to move in fives and threes. So let's just draw this out because what's really obvious when we're doing this is what the market is likely to do now that we've seen a pretty clear five wave move to the downside. Now I like to put a nice big question mark over here mainly because it hasn't been confirmed yet, but it's looking likely that this low is gonna hold. Another thing to take into consideration is that this move to the upside is bigger than any former move to the upside. That's referred to as an overbalance of price where the buying pressure has overtaken the selling pressure. So it's likely that we're gonna see some type of continuation. So the momentum is showing, the pattern is showing, we are testing and just exceeded this swing high over here so we're probably going to be sideways to up for a few days. So let's just look at what's likely to occur as a minimum with Bitcoin. So if I just scroll this to the side, this is where we can use Fibonacci price and time. How long does a minimum correction take? So we've got a 38.2% retracement. I'm just going to give you the end result because we want to touch upon Ethereum as well. And we're going to do a retracement over here. The most typical minimum retracement is 50%. So we should always anticipate the market should do a minimum of three waves to the upside of 50%. So this is the minimum expectation with Bitcoin going into the range of, let's just see what price this is. And we'll look at some dates as well. Around 17,400 to around pretty much the $18,000 mark. And again, we want to be aware of three waves to the upside because that's most common after a five wave move to the downside is some type of three wave move. And at this point, we'll be able to see what's likely to occur. Is it gonna to continue to the upside or is it just gonna be some type of ABC correction and then the market's gonna break this low to the downside? Now, Ethereum is looking very, very similar. Now, before I dive into Ethereum, I wanna share something else very special with you. How to make money with NFTs. That's right, non-fungible tokens. So we're talking about Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency. But there's non-fungible tokens, which is a different type of cryptocurrency, and you can make some phenomenal returns with it as well. Now, you may know that I'm launching my own project, and one of the great pieces of advice that I got from other people launching their project was embrace the flipping. In other words, people are going to buy, hold, and some are going to buy and flip. So you can buy for different purposes, the utility, the art, the collectability, or purely for investment purposes to flip it if someone is willing to pay a higher price down the line. Now, what I wanted to talk about was a bit more about the utility before we dive into Ethereum. There's gonna be different rarities of the NFT. So I've got 4,040 in the collection. So you wanna be aware of the total supply of any NFT project. And there's gonna be more utility with some NFTs than others. And then there's gonna be more rarity with some NFTs than others. So let's just look at this in a bit of depth because I wanna just cover a few numbers with you as well. So the number one NFT, the rarest of the rare, if you're lucky enough, we haven't launched yet, if you get token number 3,638, it's the most precious. Why? Because it's the most rare, it's got the highest rarity score, therefore it's position number one. But the token utility, this particular token, there's six characters that I'm releasing in this particular collection, and there's gonna be different utility. Some are just fun, behind the scenes content, private content, some business content, some coaching on personal development content, as well as being able to get one-to-ones with myself. But the mystic, this is called the, the mythical mystic, he gets everything. So there's a trader NFT as well. That's probably going to be the most valuable money-wise after the mystic. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to break this down for you as well, because we're going to talk about 
return on investment in terms of buying tokens to use, but buying extra tokens to flip so you can become risk-free. So let's just look at this in a bit of depth. So we've got 15 mystics in this particular collection. So I'm just going to scroll down. So just remember the numbers here is this is the token number. It's totally random. When you mint your NFT, it's totally random on what you get. The rarity score, the higher the score, the more rare it is. And then the position. So rank one, number two, number three, so on and so forth. So I'm just going to go into this before we cover some numbers in a bit of depth. I'm just going to scroll down and you can see that there's 15 of the Mystic, right? 15. So if you're lucky enough to get one of the 15, make sure you know what you have, right? Because it's very, very, I'm talking about the token utility that we've baked into this. We, we're, we're very aware of the market conditions. So we're pricing the token at 40 pounds on Mint. But the value of this is over 10,000 pounds. Like the actual value of the services, the coaching, the private content access, if you just mark it all together, is around over 10,000 pounds worth of value. So if you're one of the lucky 15, then you want to know what you have. Now, if I scroll down a bit further, we move on to the second character. The second most rare character is a legendary rarity, is the mentor, right? The legendary mentor. This one's all about coaching, personal development, knowing how to activate your mind. This utility not only gets access to getting access to a private coaching area, which we're going to be developing over the first quarter and second quarter of next year, you actually get three one-hour one-to-ones with myself. But those one-to-ones will be airdropped as NFTs, which you can also sell on the secondary market. So there's only 40 of these in the collection, which represents 1% of the entire collection. So if we just scroll down, I've only done this for the first 40, sorry, for first 100, first 100, you'll see that there's different rarities. In other words, there's different backgrounds, different skin tones, different hoods, different bed colors, and the utility is the same, but then the collectability, the higher up on the rank, the more value it is for a long term. And this is also, you know, we're 18,000 community right now, as a YouTube community right now, we've been going for just a year and a half, but in a year's time, two years time, three years time, we're probably going to be at half a million to a million. So you can see that the value is only going to increase over time, especially in bull markets. Bull markets tend to be just a different beast. So if I just scroll down, you'll see that the next character after token number 55, why 55? Because we've got 15 mystics and 45 mentor. And then we move on to the trader NFT. There's actually 444 of these in the collection. The main utility for this is phenomenal. Right? We actually, for our private community, we run something called a done-for-you trading service where we use a regulated and licensed broker. And through CFDs, we run money manager accounts for a PAM structure. We charge normally £2,000 a year, but anyone that holds one of the 444 NFTs of the trader or the mystic gets lifetime access. So if you just baked into you know 10 years worth of value of two grand a year on the service fee, all of a sudden, that's, that's 20 grand. You know, is someone going to pay 20 grand? Well, maybe five grand, 10 grand, seven grand. Who knows, right? That's, that's the beauty of NFTs and the open market and the supply and demand model. So then you'll see that the rarest one, and it's mainly because of the traits, the rarest one, the first one, top of the list, with a score of 1,531, is token number 2,868. So you want to be aware that some of them are more rare than others. So all of them actually have a blue skin tone. We decided to all go with blue skin tone, we got the headphones, we got the clothing, and then the background, right? Some backgrounds are more rare than others. So if I just scroll down now, just looking at the top 100, as we scroll down, I'm going to make this available to my private community, the rarity sheet, so you know what you have. When you bought your NFTs, you can see how rare is your NFT, because the rarer the better, right? The rarer the better. So we're just going to go to the top 100, and there you have it, top 100, and the rest of them I've just kept as numbers, and it goes for the full 4,000 and 40 in the collection. It goes right the way through so you can see your rarity level. But now let's talk business numbers, right? Let's talk investment numbers. And we are going to cover Ethereum as well. I'm not going to forget about that. So over here, what I've just created this morning is a lot of people invest in NFTs because they know if you're getting at the minting price, which is the initial launch, the first launch, ours is going to be on the 22nd of December, the public sale, which is my birthday. It's the 40th, my 40th birthday. We're celebrating my 40th by releasing 4,040, and we're pricing it at 40 pounds with massive utility, right? That's one of the reasons why we did the legendary level with 40, and then R15 is my company. So we've launched 
an extra 15 mystic level nfts so let's just run through some numbers some people love numbers some people hate numbers but numbers are beautiful because it cuts through the noise so the minting price of this nft is going to be 40 pounds now we're launching it on the polygon network the polygon blockchain now we can pop in this here how many you want to buy so you might want to buy one or two for your personal use but then buy another 48 for your own collection for your long-term buy and hold but the way i like to do things whether it's a token like a low cap token or a mid cap token or a new token or even if it's something like polygon or a, a large cap token is you always want to consider becoming risk free and at what multiple do you want to become risk free so five represents 500 percent. in other words if the price goes up five times so that's what this recommend this is what this is here the sell price so if it hits 200 dollars, that's a 5x and to become risk free well you need to sell one fifth right one fifth and if it was a 3x if i just change this here to a three you'll see that the numbers dynamically change so you can figure it out so one of the great things about this is in a logical mechanical non-emotional way you can become risk free and the way we've created this nft collection one of the reasons we chose to release it at the peak of the bear market right the peak of the bear market is because of the technology right we're in a peak bear market but we're also in a peak build market where the underlying technology being built is second to none and it's web3 it's the next layer of the internet it's crypto it's blockchain and nfts and the utility is what's really what counts but the collectability part also but for investment purposes you know the tokens are yours so you can do as you please you can sell them you can hold them you can use them, you can give them away, you can transfer them to another wallet. It's, it's all up to you. So I just wanted to run through some numbers, whether it's my NFT project or another project, you can think about it in this way. So the way I like to do things is risk-free, right? At what level do you want to become risk-free? So, you know, and it also depends on what NFTs you actually end up with because it's all random at the mint. At the mint is 100% random. So you might go, oh, actually, I think I want to you know, it's likely that the NFTs are going to be valued at least six times what they are because the mint price is very, very low. So what that does, it says if you bought 50 NFTs, well, 50 times 40 pounds is 2,000 pounds, right? So by selling eight NFTs at 240 pounds, you will regain your 2,000 and you have 42 NFTs remaining, right? Make sense? And then you can set your first profit level where you're going to bank some profit. You can go, actually, you know what? I want to wait for a 15x, right? 15x. Now, with multiples, the later you buy, the lower the multiples. But the later you buy, sometimes the lower the risk, depending if the project has a track record and utility and so on and so forth. So you can do your own research there and kind of build your own plan according to this. But let's just say you say a 15x. Well, 15x price is basically 15 times 40 is selling at $600, which means you'll need to sell three NFTs to get your next value, right? So, you know, and, and you can tweak these numbers as you see fit. So you can take some more profits. And then you got your next profit level, which is, let's just say you wanted, um, I don't know, a 50X, right? 50X. Well, you can sell one NFT and get two grand, right? Or make, or make a lot of money, right? A lot of money or two grand in itself. And then your last sell is the remaining NFTs, right? The remaining NFTs where you have 37 left that you're holding, you know, whatever the price is, and let's say it was a 75X, you know, these are quite, I don't know if it's aggressive or not because some of the utility, if you get one of the mystic NFTs or one of the trader NFTs or one of the legendary NFTs, well, there's way more than 2,000 pounds worth of value there. So you can kind of work it out and go, okay, there's around 10,000 pounds worth of value. You can list it for, I don't know, 5,000 pounds, 2,000 pounds, and in different market conditions and different states, different people that want the NFT, that want the utility, want the art, will be willing to pay for that. And you can just test it on the open market, which is OpenSea and some of the others. And then when, you, when all is said and done, this is your total sale value. In this example, it's 118,000. Well, that represents 5,900%, which is a 59x in total, 59x in total with this particular. So in other words, 2,000 pound invested, 118,000. Now, these are just indicative numbers, but you can play with this. You know, some can be a bit more aggressive depending on your capital. I know some, some of my community, yeah, they've told me already, you know, some are looking to spend 10 grand. So they're going to buy 250 NFTs 
and they want to get risk free at a 5x. So then, once and if it hits $200 on the open market, well, they'll sell 50, which is one fifth, get their 10 grand back in their pocket, and then it's all, you know, risk free money, right? It's all, it's all the money's back in your pocket. And then you can set your plan. So you can take your first profit level at 10x, then your next one at, let's say, a 50x. And next one, hey, look, let's just set it. And if it hits your price target of 100x, four grand on average for the NFTs, then you can make a 71,000 in this case study. So NFTs, they're a thing of the future, especially if the art is fantastic, if there's a strong community. Now, we've got 18,000 now, 600 in my private community, 100 in my premium community, and we're only beginning. We're only getting started. And the great thing I love about this particular project that we've been working really hard on is the utility. So, you know, it'd be great to hear which one of these is your personal favorite. I only showed you these particular characters. Uh, I might even just show you very quickly. Um, I, I thought I had it open. Let me show you. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show you this. So here's the, the art that is in play, right? I won't go into too much depth, but here's the art. We are now going to be deploying this on the blockchain later on today, actually, later on today. So here's the 4,040 in the collection. Every single NFT is 100% unique in terms of the background, the traits, the accessories, and a few other bits and pieces. So it's exciting. So we be really, really interested to see how everything goes. And by the way, if you want to be on the shortlist and the hot list for the NFT, easiest way right now is just to download my book for free. It's in the description link below. We'll be sending out emails so you can get to the early access list. My private loyal community, they're going to get first dibs and then second dibs, and then there'll be third dibs, and then there'll just be the public sale happening on the 22nd of December. Time to be confirmed. Time to be confirmed. And yeah, and then we're going to do the reveal. Probably, uh, we're going to reveal that as well, but it's probably going to be on Christmas Day. We'll do the reveal on what NFTs you have. All right, let's finish up today on Ethereum. So let me just pull this back up with our chart. It's not this one. I want this one over here. So we're going to jump into Ethereum. So finishing up with Ethereum. Now, Ethereum looks very similar to Bitcoin, but maybe even clearer. Maybe even clearer. So again, I'm just looking at the immediate, immediate market conditions. So we've got the daily bull reversal. It's a strong bull reversal. Overbalance of price. This move has clearly gone over these swing highs. It's the biggest move to the upside since this whole downward movement. So that tells us a lot of information. And what we want to really take into consideration is this. We've got a nice wave one, wave two, pretty clear. Very impulsive wave three. A nice corrective wave four. We can call it here or we can call it here. Doesn't really matter too much. And then we've got this final move to the downside of wave five. What we're likely to get with Ethereum is very similar because buying and selling behavior is the same for all markets, all time frames, in the sense of it's all based on fear and greed. That's what it is. It is what it is, right? Some people agree, some people disagree. I don't really care, to be honest, because I've been there for 15 years and I've seen enough buying and selling behavior to be 100% convinced that nine times out of 10, technical, short term especially, are the best things to go by. Um, yeah, time and time again. So let's just do this basic analysis with Ethereum. Let's set some price and time dates. Oh, let me just get this accurate here. Bang. And then what we want to see is Ethereum is likely to be sideways to up on my birthday, <laughs> 22nd of December, right? Sideways to up at least as a minimum to my birthday, 22nd of December, where I turn 40. Jeez, 40, four decades, right? See, life begins at 40. I agree. I agree. All right. So what we want to look at as well is it's likely to do at least three moves. Most markets do at least three moves. And at this point, we can see, is it likely to continue to the upside or is it going to do a reversal and break this low? At this stage, we don't know. At this stage, we don't know. We can make a few other calls by looking at the larger play. In fact, let's just quickly look at the larger play just with Ethereum because there is something relatively interesting with Ethereum. I'll keep it on the, the hourly chart. Right, I'm just going to get rid of all the drawings for a second. Right, What I want to just show you is this. Just going to draw it relatively fast because it's just high level. Now, we don't know this at the moment, but what looks like the case is we've had this move up, down, up, down, and up, right? The waves have not been crossing over, just barely. 
So it's either going to be that this is a correction, a five wave correction, is an A, B, C, D, E correction, or it is actually a five wave impulse to the upside. Right now, we don't know. All we do know is this move to the downside has been very aggressive, much more aggressive than the move to the upside. If this low gets exceeded at some point, then that would give us some very important information. But right now, we don't know. So what's likely to occur as a minimum, as a minimum, is after a five wave move to the upside, is at least a three wave correction to the downside. So this looks like the first move. We're probably gonna get some type of ABC up. We're probably at least gonna get a third move down. Now, if it breaks this low, that will give us, again, vital information. If it doesn't, then we might get a reversal over here to continue on the upside. Again, if that reversal goes above here, that will be important information. So one of the really important things to know is to know that you don't know. <laughs> it's to know that you don't know, and there is no way of knowing. But what we can know is probabilities. In other words, I'm going to tell you this because it's important. This move to the downside, right? And if we do get an ABC correction and another move to the downside, most trends do not overlap. So what I mean by that is here's the peak of the low over here. If the price overlaps into this range, that gives us really important early information. It's called a pattern reversal signal. And that tells us that this low is likely to hold. However, if it doesn't overlap, then we probably, and it breaks this low, that tells us different information. And it tells us how the crowd is feeling. Buying and selling behavior, all of that taken into consideration. And there you have it. So check it out. Let me know what you think. What's, what's your favorite art? You know, I've shown you three out of the six. We got the mystic, we got the mentor, and we have the trader. They're the top three. They're the most rare. They give the most utility. And then we have another three characters. One is business, one is fun, and the other one is fun cowboy. And, you know, we're going to be elaborating more on that as well with the website and everything else. But if you want to get early dibs, easiest way is to download my book and you'll get onto my mailing list. And then you'll get earlier than just the, the general public. And especially if you've been following me for a while, right? I want to make sure that you benefit from all the hard work that we've been putting in and you've been a loyal supporter of me, the channel, the team, our company, and we're looking to do something quite special in Web3, not only short term, but it's here to stay, right? It's the next layer of the internet. It's going to be a bigger revolution than the internet itself. So it's very, very exciting. So let's finish off with a quote. As we did the, the spreadsheet with the NFT, the NFT trade plan, let's go with Warren Buffett, right? And he says this, this is chapter two's quote. It says, rule number one, never lose money. Rule number two, never forget rule number one. Now, as optimistic we might be as with, you know, even if you thought my project was the best thing since sliced bread, hey, look, if you're buying 50 or 30 or 100 or 250, still get risk-free. Uh, 2X, 3X, 4X, 5X, 10X, whatever your plan is, depending on your knowledge, depending on your risk tolerance, depending on everything, but get risk free. And then, you know, then you just, you know, it's easier to hold long term, especially if you believe in what we're doing and what we're bringing to the table. Because if you're in my private community, you actually know what we're doing in the back end, right? You know what we do on the weekend workshops. You know what we have in our products and services and what we're building. So if you've got the inside noop, that can be a really big heads up. So you know the value and we've set the mint price incredibly low. Like we know it's a bear market, right? It's a very big bear market. So we decided series one, rather than or waiting for the bull market, we'll celebrate my 40th and say thank you to you for being an early supporter. So let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you very soon.